Hello, my name is Gerald, and we're inside Canada's largest pipe organ. This is the Davis Concert Pipe Organ at the Francis Winspear Centre for Music in downtown Edmonton. From when I started here, I can imagine there's probably been no more than 30 people that have ever been inside this instrument. And this instrument is now 15 years old. So when you look at the organ and its big magnitude, its big face, its big facade, there's probably about 270 pipes on the outside that you see. But when you come inside, there's another 15 feet of pipes. And it just goes row upon row upon row upon row of pipes. And they're actually called ranks of pipe, like a rank in an army. And they each are stacked right behind each other. Now, if you look again at the main console or the main keyboard where everybody plays the organ, there are four different keyboards and there's also another keyboard for your feet called the pedal board. Now, each keyboard has its own room and this is one of the rooms. And there's another three rooms on top of me and there's big rooms for the big pedals that you play with your feet with all those pedal notes on the outside. It's all about maintenance, keeping it clean and having it perfectly in tune all the time. And so that's my job and that's why I go in there probably three times a month for sure and I spend a couple hours each time. Besides the tuning and the cleaning, because it can have such a large volume of sound, some things start to rattle. Whether it be an, an organ pipe or it would be just a piece of wood um, that's part of the frame or it is a pipe that might have just shaken loose and sometimes um, a pipe just gets stuck because there's a piece of dust that's stuck in the bottom of it. It just doesn't stop playing. So sometimes that happens in a rehearsal, even in a performance we've had it, where I've had to crawl up inside and fix that rattling or that pipe that just won't stop speaking. But other than that, why do people want to go in? Because they're first intrigued. They look at this big instrument and they see about, they think about, there's about 100 pipes, but actually there's about 250 pipes that they stare at. And they go, huh, they're curious about it. But it's when they get up close, when they go, huh, and you open the door and like, wow, this is amazing. Then they see that there's 6,551 pipes and they just can't believe it, so they want to go up inside. Some people are scared because it's only a ladder that's not super safe. You have to be really um, comfortable with heights and uh, being in tight sort of situations, but I also have to be concerned about even my own body shape. Um, <laughs> I've gained a little bit of weight over the last few years and I need to lose some of that so I can fit properly back into the organ again. I gotta be really careful about that. Everything is so delicate inside. Um, it's so all handcrafted when it's metal, um, just even a bump can even just make a little nick in any way and that could change the tonality of one little pipe. If you climb to the very top of the Davis Concert Pipe Organ, at the very, very top, you'll see signatures of about 12 different people. These are the people that came all the way across country to build this instrument. Playing the organ is kind of like flying a 747. It's got all these buttons and pistons and all these things that you have to do with your feet that is just, it's your whole body that has to move. If you play the oboe, it's your fingers and your breathing. If it's the violin, you have to turn your neck one way, you have to turn your arms and that kind of thing, but your feet may not be moving, but this is everything. And this is kind of like being like a painter in a way, um, making a painting where you, the painter has his, his palette of colors and you get to choose all these different colors to make this piece of art. You become more attached to something that's just so amazing. And you become attached to the story that's involved with it and for the people who get to play it and what it does for the people who get to hear it. And um, it's such, I find that the Winspear is such a beautiful, beautiful concert hall and I find this the crowning jewel of the entire concert hall. <laughs>